Hello viewers, I'm Advocate Kier, I work from Mexican company. Today I'm going to talk about the Canada Review, Canada Revenue Agency and how it works and what are the objectives. So first of all, let's talk about the application. The CRA Code of Integrity and Professional Conduct applies to all CRA employees. CRA refers to the Canada Revenue Agency. Whether temporary or permanent, including executive, managers, team leaders and students, it continues to apply to employees on leave with or without pay. Now, what are the objectives of it? The code reflects that the rules that are established in law and in corporate policy instrument CPI, the code helps guide employees in following the rules of CRA. It should also be used to guide and shape employees' behaviors in the workplace to support and reflect the CRA's mission, vision and values to our approach to service culture. No good can be all encompassing and situations may arise that are not addressed specifically in the document. If you find yourself in a dilemma or have a question about what to do, start by reviewing this code. It links to the other resources including relevant laws and CPIs. You can also refer to CRA's specific model for integrity based decision on making discuss the issue with your manager. Now, what are the mission, vision and values? Mission of CRA. CRA's mission is to administer tax benefits and related programs and to ensure compliance on behalf of governments across Canada, thereby contributing to the ongoing economy and social well-being of Canadians. Now, what are the visions? Trusted, fair and helpful by putting people first. What are the values? Four enduring values guide our organization. One, number one is integrity. CRA establish and preserve trust with all stakeholders by applying the law fairly and upholding our standards. Professionalism. CRA are knowledgeable, accurate, conscientious, innovative, and self-service oriented. Respect. CRA interact with people in a way that makes them feel heard and valued. We listen and respond judicially. Collaboration. Last one. CRA recognize act on opportunities to work together to deliver the agency's mandate. CRA consult and share ideas fostering innovations to improve the service experiences both internally and externally. Terms and conditions of employment. As federal public servants and CRA employees, we are all bound by terms and conditions of employment complying with any or applicable terms and conditions of employment is mandatory. Failure to comply with any of the following leads to disciplinary or administrative measures up to and following including the termination of the employment. I hope you are pretty much clear with the CRA policy and its vision, mission and objective. If not so, then do let me know in the comment section so that I can clear all your doubts regarding this particular video. I'll see you guys super soon in my next video with some other legal topic. Till then, take care of yourself.